guys today is a Thursday the day before our flight and we are really anxious because we are now heading to the testing center to do our PCR test so guys wish us luck <laughs> we just had our PCR test oh my god it's one degree outside and we waited for like 30 minutes yeah. in the queue so we were scheduled at half eight but then uh, we were able to go inside the testing center at 9 10 isn't nine. it yeah around 9 10 in the morning so guys it's a no kayo. it's very cold <laughs> It's a long queue. Long queue, Jude. I think because uh, it's already half term here or almost half term here in the next UK. Week, yeah. Next, yeah, starting next week. So, uh, families or people are planning their trips with their children. So there were loads of children uh, with their parents in the queue. Yeah, I think they're planning to go like tomorrow or Saturday. Yeah. So there's a big queue, long queue outside. Yes. Luckily, we're able to book. Uh, in advance. Otherwise, I know we won't have. We won't be able to get the slot today. Yes, so guys, uh, we are really anxious because uh, we booked our PCR test um, wherein uh, we will get the result within or by midnight and Ryan had a conversation with the person, with the lady who was taking his PCR and she was saying that realistically we will get the result at around 8 to 10 in the evening so we are just really anxious now mm. because of the waiting time uh, Hopefully everything turns out fingers okay, crossed so. so we felt like uh, we're really excited to go home I mean to fly but then also we're just we just don't want to be all out with it because uh, <laughs> we don't want to be disappointed yes exactly again <laughs> exactly but yeah um, anyway um, that's it for now we'll see you in a bit So guys, um, we have already checked in and now we are looking for our boarding gate. So we were supposed to fly at 9.25 in the morning but unfortunately our flight's been delayed to 10. No? Yeah, I think it's delayed in an hour. Yeah, but it's fine. It gave us um, enough time to look around the airport. So guys, unfortunately, I have a chica, a little chica for you. So if you are planning to buy like luxury goods here like the um, Chanel or Gucci or YSL before they used to give um, tax free or a tax rebate but unfortunately now guys full price now mga items so <laughs> yeah. I was really heartbroken it's the same as the high street price now yes so I asked the sales lady why Apparently, well, Brexit. she said because of Brexit. So, because uh, I was really hoping that maybe if there's something nice, we can somehow save up with the amount of money that we pay. But yeah, so just to let you know, they they still do have duty free though. Like they have a um, duty free shop, but like the high end luxury products, you have to pay full price. So there you go. So we're just walking now towards our boarding gate and... Guys, we are finally flying home to Cebu! Guys, you just don't know how excited we are. Okay, mm. the process of um, us being at in this point was really tedious. Because um, initially we were waiting for my passport to arrive. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so basically, 
I renewed my passport last January and then they told me na it will come like in four to eight weeks time so come March I was really um, a bit anxious and nervous now because it still didn't arrive and even if you call the embassy they will just say oh they will it will come <laughs> yes you have you just have to wait it will come in four to eight weeks just wait so I really thought that this flight is not gonna happen Mm. So we thought, so we didn't really expect much about it. We didn't really prepare as much as we used to prepare. But um, yeah, lo and behold, I think uh, my passport arrived second week of March. And right then and there, we booked our flight. So it was just crazy. We were hoping uh, we could get a good deal, but unfortunately... <laughs> yes. It doesn't help because... The, in here in the UK, it's almost um, term break, mm. so a lot of kids will be off school and families will be um, families will be traveling as well for holidays. Oh, that's our flight. Yeah, sorry guys. For somebody else. Okay, there was just an announcement, and that was for our flight. Anyway, going back. So yeah. Second week of March, we booked our flight, and then we have just our schedule was just really hectic. So we have booked things in advance. Um, yeah, but anyways, uh, finally we are flying, <laughs> guys. We're so excited. I mean, I also yesterday. I'm having flight of ideas again. Yesterday we had our PCR test, <laughs> and uh, we booked. For the result to come in before midnight um ka, it was already 10 o'clock in the evening wala pagi hapon <laughs> so i think it was around half 10 ano? yeah around that the time actually came in. yeah so ryan received a message uh, saying that we're both negative so uh that still i know they have changed the guidelines now i think Philippines can accept antigen test result but uh by the time we booked our flight um, they were still asking for a PCR test within 48 hours. That's why we still went for that PCR test. Would have been cheaper, no? I know, I know. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we have um, half ten. We received Orion received a message saying that we both are negative. So, ha! Huh. Very relieved. Very relieved. We can proceed to packing. Yeah, because we were thinking, <laughs> oh my God, what will happen if it's uh, if we it, if it turns or comes back positive? Are we gonna, you know, if Ryan Touchwood is positive and I'm negative, am I still gonna push through with a flight or vice versa? So all those scenarios, guys, you can just imagine. So yeah, we continued packing until midnight um, and slept really late. But um, fortunately, this morning when we came to the airport, it was really smooth sailing, guys. As long as you prepare in advance your one health pass, your COVID vaccinations, and your negative PCR test. That's, those are the three things that they check once you um, check in for your flight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. We're so excited. Uh, can't wait to be home. It's been three years. I'm a bit anxious how it is inside the plane. I'm sure it will be fully packed, but you know, we just have to do what we can do. Wear a mask, sanitize every time. And yes, that's it. Um, by the time we update you, we will probably be in Singapore airport. Mm -hmm. And then yes, we'll take it from there. See ya.